Have you ever felt like you just don't quite fit into the typical categories of women that society talks about? You know, where you're not the classic alpha female boss babe and definitely not a follower, but something different. Well, stick around because you might just be what's known as a sigma female and not even realize it. Hey there, today we're diving deep into something that's been buzzing around social circles lately, the sigma female personality. You've probably heard about alpha females, but sigma, that's a whole different ball game. And let me tell you, it's absolutely fascinating. The independent spirit, your first clue. Think about it, when was the last time you actually cared about fitting in? If you're finding yourself nodding along, thinking, yeah, I've never really bothered with that well, you might just be ticking the first box of Sigma female traits. You see, Sigma females have this incredible knack for charting their own course, completely unbothered by social expectations or the latest trends. You know those moments when everyone's rushing to try the newest viral thing. While others are jumping on bandwagons, you're probably somewhere else entirely, doing your own thing and feeling perfectly content about it. That's not just being difficult, it's about having a deep understanding of who you are and what you want. The Quiet Power Player Here's something interesting, Sigma females aren't typically the loudest voices in the room, but they're often the ones people end up listening to most. You might notice that when you do speak up, which is usually only when you have something meaningful to say, people tend to pay attention. It's not about dominating conversations or pushing your way into the spotlight. Instead, it's this natural ability to command respect without demanding it. Think of it like being a chess player rather than a cheerleader. You're not trying to pump up the crowd, you're strategically moving pieces on your own board, playing your own game. And the funny thing is, people notice and respect that kind of quiet confidence. The myth of the lone wolf. Now, let's bust a myth real quick. Being a Sigma female doesn't mean you're antisocial or a complete loner. It's more like you're selective about your social energy. You might have a small circle of ride or die friends who really get you rather than a massive network of casual acquaintances. And that's perfectly fine. The thing is, Sigma females have this amazing ability to be completely comfortable in their own company. You don't get that Sunday anxiety if you don't have plans. Actually, you might look forward to those solo weekends where you can recharge, pursue your interests, or just exist without having to perform for others. The success story that looks different. Here's where it gets really interesting. Sigma females often define success differently from what society typically expects. While others might be climbing the traditional corporate ladder or ticking off society's checkboxes, you're probably creating your own definition of what it means to succeed. Maybe you've started a business from your passion project or you're excelling in a field that others didn't expect. The key thing is you're doing it on your own terms. You're not following someone else's roadmap to success, you're creating your own, even if that means taking the road less traveled. The emotional paradox. This is probably one of the most misunderstood aspects of being a Sigma female, the way you handle emotions. You're not cold or unfeeling, far from it, but you do process emotions differently. You tend to be incredibly empathetic while maintaining strong emotional boundaries. Think about it, can you relate to being the person who can understand and support others through their struggles while keeping your own emotional well-being in check? That's a classic Sigma trait. You don't get swept up in drama, but you're there when it really matters. The art of self-reliance. Let's talk about something that really sets Sigma females apart, their remarkable self-reliance. This isn't just about being able to change a tire or handle your own finances, though those are great skills to have. It's about a deeper kind of independence. You've probably noticed that you have this innate drive to figure things out on your own. Whether it's learning a new skill, solving a problem at work or navigating life's challenges, your first instinct is to rely on your own capabilities. And the best part, this self-reliance gives you this incredible sense of freedom. The Leadership Paradox Here's something fascinating about Sigma females, they often make great leaders, even though they don't actively seek out leadership positions. When you do end up in charge of something, it's usually because others naturally gravitate toward your competence and authentic approach. You might notice that your leadership style is different too. Instead of micromanaging or power plays, you lead by example. You're the kind of leader who empowers others to find their own path while maintaining clear boundaries and expectations. A relationship reality. When it comes to relationships, Sigma females have a unique approach that often confuses those who don't understand it. You're not playing hard to get, you're genuinely occupied with your own growth and goals. 
This means that when you do choose to be in a relationship, it's because someone genuinely adds value to your life, not because you need them to complete you. You probably value deep, meaningful connections over casual ones. And let's be honest, you'd rather be single than settle for a relationship that doesn't align with your values or respect your independence. The Growth Mindset One of the most powerful characteristics of Sigma females is their commitment to personal growth. But here's the thing, it's not about following someone else's self-improvement plan. You're probably constantly learning and evolving, but in ways that make sense for your unique path. Whether it's picking up new skills, exploring different perspectives, or challenging your own beliefs, you're always growing. And the best part, you do it for yourself, not to impress others or meet external expectations. The Balance Master Finally, let's talk about how Sigma females handle the juggling act of modern life. You've probably developed this incredible ability to balance different aspects of your life without getting caught up in the having-it-all pressure that society often puts on women. You know when to push forward and when to step back. You understand that some days are for conquering the world and others are for Netflix and self-care. And you don't feel guilty about either choice. Conclusion Being a Sigma female isn't about fitting into yet another box or label. It's about embracing your unique approach to life. If you've found yourself nodding along to these characteristics, you might just be a Sigma female without even realizing it. And you know what? That's pretty amazing. Remember there's no one-size-fits-all approach to being a Sigma female. It's about understanding and embracing your natural tendencies rather than trying to force yourself into a prescribed role. Whether you identify with all these traits or just a few, what matters most is staying true to yourself and continuing to forge your own path. So here's to all the Sigma females out there, the quiet revolutionaries, the independent thinkers, and the authentic souls who aren't afraid to write their own rules. Keep being uniquely you, because that's exactly what the world needs. How many of these signs did you recognize in yourself? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more content about understanding yourself and navigating life on your own terms. Until next time, keep marching to the beat of your own drum.